Do you guys want a musical intermission? A little musical break from all the videos of all this stuff that's happening, right? Let's have a little musical break and let's listen to the smooth, smooth, smooth voice of Chin Shi. What's his surname? Chin Su Yi. Have you heard this stuff? What do you What do you think about his singing? What do you think about this this voice, this R and B uh, god? <laughs> you know what it sounds like? You know what it sounds like? You know what it sounds like? I'm scared to admit this, but have you ever broken up with someone and you're just listening to bare R&B and you're really feeling sad for yourself and then you start singing in the shower and stuff and around the house, like you just start belting out these tunes to kind of mend your broken heart and for some redacted reason because you've been crying. <laughs> your, your ears are clogged up and it sounds pretty funny to you. Oh no, it sounds pretty good to you. That's what it sounds like. You see how my guy's grimacing? Like, do you see his face? Let's zoom into his face as he's singing because the face is, gives everything. This is what gives it the whole effect. Look, listen to this. <laughs> oh, I swear to God. I swear to God, man. This is... This is. Big up him anyway, right? He's talented in some way, isn't it? Because he can play the piano. You can mix and master all this stuff, in it? So it's a... It's a <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It's just fucking killing me. Well, I thought it was playing, I thought he's playing a keyboard. My bad, I thought it was a keyboard down there. Oh, let's continue, let's continue, let's continue. You know, it also sounds like, I don't know if you guys remember, I don't know if you remember, do you guys remember, I don't know if you ever had this in school, but I went, when in my school, we had this thing called like, um, what was it called? Like music production. We had like a music production class. It wasn't really, you know, you wasn't really trying to be Metro Booming. It was just you making fucking jingles and crappy melodies and shit. And they'd give you this keyboard that you'd use that would have these pre, pre, pre-done kind of uh, melodies in there already. Do you know what I mean? Like it'd have like a, a bass line or something or like a bridge that you could kind of work off of. <laughs> or sometimes it'd have instrumentals of like songs that you know and they'd sound like this. Like they'd sound like these like kind of 8-bit MIDI sort of things. That's what it sounds like. It sounds like one of those things. Or something like, oh, do you know when you were a kid, you had those microphones that would play a jingle and it let you kind of sing along with it. Do you know those things I'm talking about? It's like a, it's like a little like, karaoke thing. Sometimes it would, you drag it along in the box and sometimes it'd be like a microphone and it'd have like a little jingle, had like a little speaker at the bottom, but it looked like a mic. <laughs> and usually it would always be the kids in your school who thought they could sing that would use it. And then obviously they'd get to a talent show and it'd be fucking horrible. And then you'd never see them sing again. <sighs> some people would say, <coughs> some people, is it fair to say, some people would say, this is like, this is what happens when you don't get bullied. Is that fair to say? When you don't get bullied, you end up like this. <laughs> oh, shit. Like crazy, I need for you to love, love me, hold me, touch me in my soul, never letting go. <laughs> it's 
touch me, leave me, don't never let him go. That's what Brendan did to his neck, and he never let go. <laughs> <laughs> Brendan, Brendan cranked that fucking neck like Soldier Boy. In it. <laughs> oh, he should pay for his surgery. By the way, man. All jokes aside, he should pay for that man's surgery. That guy is single-handedly the most important person in T5K. Without Chin, all respect on his name, that building doesn't move. Nothing gets put out without him. He needs to be. You know what I mean, like. <sighs> he needs to be respected, man. He should be giving him stem shots and stuff. Like, he should be helping him out 100%. That guy has been there through thick and thin. What He posted a video recently of him working at fucking... Where did he go? He went to Disneyland or something. Working and editing the show, putting it together. Nah, he deserves... Like, he should be respected. Like, Brendan should fucking sort him out and get that surgery done because my man cranked his neck like he owed him money or something, man. Absolutely horrible. H horrible, horrible, horrible. He, he he should be paying for that surgery. All the love we share, no one compares to okay, that's okay, okay. That's, I can't. Should you do the start again? <laughs> if I had one wish, girl, I'd wish you next to me. <laughs> Chin, man. I love you, brother, but I love it, man. I love it, I love it. <laughs> <sighs> it takes a lot for me to even upload an image these days on Instagram. I, t I don't know if you guys are the same. I don't even upload things on my feed that much. Mostly it's on Instagram stories. It takes me a while to upload stuff on my Instagram. I'm sure some of you are the same. You know, you get self-conscious. You don't know if people are going to like your things. Whatever it may be. Imagine sitting there. Sticking your phone on a tripod and deciding to record this, making and yeah, this is a lot. This is a lot of work to do because you got to feed this into the computer. Like you got to like set up your flipping audio input capture device. You got to do a lot of things to get this. <laughs> then you got to send the clip to yourself, make it one under one minute. Oh man, but yeah, Brendan Schultz is periphery surgery anyway. Um, uh, so big up chin man. He done this, He didn't deserve that. He is literally the the foundation of the thick boy enterprise. Without him, that thick boy thing doesn't run. He should be um he should be compensated. And if if that means just sorting out that fucking surgery, then he should sort it out. It should be no issue for him really. But you know, what can you do? And what can you do with these?